have oh, delivery. Hello. Formal wedding delivery. Oh, let's see it. Like I said, true love is off to a wedding. Papa's in charge. Oh, and by no the pressure. way, by the way, Michael's <laughs> never ever gone to bed by himself without me in his whole life. So he doesn't have a leg. He'll be fine. So we're gonna have a great day. We're gonna have a great day. And uh, thanks for and bringing. And there's a birthday party. And there's a birthday. Par I'm oh taking the kids to a birthday party, you. all with a scooter. I love you so much. Oh, I love you. Mwah. Taking in the 2018 London Marathon. Just watching a little replay with Michael. The boys are at the birthday party. Come here, Michael. I'll hold you. Come here. And we're, we're back in the studio. All right, here we go. 7.32 p.m. All three boys are asleep, fast asleep. We had a big, tiring day. It's the little victories in life, right? I'm home alone. True love's at a wedding, but we got it. We got it done with crutches and all, and the scooter as well. That was a that was a fun day. And again, tomorrow we're gonna discuss how I mentally, even physically, but more so mentally, get through running injuries. So come back tomorrow for my thoughts on what I, because I haven't been injured, I guess, since last fall. And we probably dabbled in this topic a little bit, but I really want to dive in tomorrow about how I get through and even thrive through running injuries. So come back for that. Okay. Are you ready for this? I've been running for 20 years. I'm going to list for you all and I mean every single one that I could remember. I, and I didn't write down all of them as they happened over the last 20 years. But I will say, if you are, oh, I don't know, I think it was a really healthy, no pun intended, pr uh, activity for me to go through over the last 20 minutes. I just sat at my computer and wrote down every single injury I could remember. And what I qualify as an injury, a running injury, is an injury that takes me out where I cannot run because it's too painful. For example, I had shin splints once two years ago and I was able to run through it. So I'm not, I'm not uh, calling that an injury officially because it was not probably as severe as some of you have experienced with shin splints. So that doesn't count for me. It's something that like knocks me down, takes me out, and I cannot run. All right, are you ready for this list? It was, again, really healthy for me to just go through and pick up on trends and patterns uh, of my running injuries. And there are patterns, sadly. And that's uh, something for me to work on moving forward, right? Okay, here we go. Plantar fasciitis, seventh grade, 1998. I remember my dad and I, my, I would lay on the couch and my dad would massage my foot and it, because it hurt so bad. It was really bad. Oh man, seventh grade, that's rough. And they put me up on those heel lifts and they did not work. And I've heard now that those heel lifts are like not really recommended these days. So this is the late nineties. I think research has just, and more information is now available. More experiences have been shared from, from people who have gotten over plantar fasciitis. Anyway, seventh grade PF first injury, second injury, stress fracture, ninth grade two th the year 2000 third metatarsal. Um, yeah, it just happened. My sophomore, I think it was my sophomore year of high school. No fun, no good. Uh, and we, had, we thought it was a sprain. No, we thought it was a, 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 a pulled. We thought we pulled, I had pulled something in my big toe. Somebody yanked on my toe. Don't let somebody do that. Anyway, that was my second injury. Third injury. A lot of you suffer from this. IT band. It, I've only had an IT band once in my life, thankfully, but it's, it's rough. And it was right on my right knee. How did I get over it? Cortisone shot. I'm not saying I would recommend a cortisone shot. Um, it took a little while for it to kick in, but it was probably about two weeks later where the cortisone seemed to help and speed up the healing, uh, combined with stretching and all that as well. But anyway, IT band, 
10th grade, 2001. And just so you know, it happened on a really cold morning. I met some, uh, some classmates before school at like 6, probably 15 a.m. It was freezing up in the mountains and I stopped running and immediately I felt it in my knees. So just beware of that uh, in cold conditions with IT band. Okay, moving on to college. So high school and middle school, I had three injuries. Go going on to college, here we go. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna kind of combine a couple of them because they, it happened so much. So basically plantar fasciitis twice in 2006, 2007, um, again, probably wasn't stretching enough. And again, I don't know if there was as much information out there about PF with respect to stretching. Like I was stretching, don't get me wrong, but I mean really intentional stretching and massaging and loosening of your entire kinetic chain. So anyways, uh, PF twice and the second time I had surgery. Oh, oh. It was a hard decision, but we did everything. We did ultrasound. We did cortisone shots. We did, uh, we did one other. Well, we did the night splint, of course. We did everything in the books. Nothing seemed to be working. So at the end of the day, I flew to California, went to a world-renowned foot surgeon, and he put me under the knife. I went under the knife, and sure enough, it worked. So I'm grateful that I did it because it saved kind of some of my collegiate running, but it was not an e easy decision. Again, that was 06, 07. And then <laughs> stress fractures from 06 to 09. I had two in my pelvis, tibia, uh, again, another metatarsal. Um, I'm not even going to remember all of them. So there was a lot in college, 06 to 09. Again, are you picking up on this pattern? And it's something to, for you to think about if you are prone to certain injuries like hamstring or runner's knee or, um, oh man, uh, let's see, even just like ankle or Achilles. Oh, so Achilles is like, well, the Achilles heel, right? Like if, if your Achilles is messed up, there's so much torque happening through your Achilles in your running gait and running cycle. Um, your Achilles is key. So anyway, all right. And then after college, guess what? I kind of took a break. And so those are all my college injuries, PF, stress fractures over and over and over again. You see in the pattern. All right, moving on. I took time off after college, chilled out mentally, physically. I did not have another injury, a serious injury until last fall. So 2018. So we're talking of almost 10 years of, of, uh, and I was running pretty, pretty intense for the last four years yeah, as an ultra runner. So I was pretty, I'm pretty happy that I was able to stay healthy for so long until last fall when the PF popped up again. Actually, it was really last summer uh, where it popped up and then it really got bad in the fall. So PF last fall, again, remember how it, I probably released it in this footage that you're watching right now. I was yeah, in first yeah. place in this 5K and basically I felt, I felt it go in my left foot. I just felt something kind of tear ish. Oh gosh. And oh, something released and sure enough, like it swelled up and then two, three days later, I was basically pain-free. Again, just craziness. It's not the best situation, but as a competitive runner, you know how it is. Like these things happen when you're putting your body through so much stress. Okay, and now the most recent injury, this Les Frank, uh, and you got Liz Frank sprain. I'm putting in parentheses stress fracture only because we don't know officially yet. Uh, the podiatrist is calling it a Liz Frank sprain. We shall see. So that's now 2019. So roughly one, two, three, and then four, five. I'm going to say 20 running injuries in the last 20 years, approximately, roughly, right around there. So, uh, not fun, you know, not enjoyable. And I'm going to do some more reflecting in the next, well, when I'm riding on the stationary bike and you, it's a little uh, time, it's like mindless time on the stationary bike. And I'm just gonna think about, ha, huh, okay, what do I need to do to stay healthy moving forward? And yes, keep fighting. And again, keyword is fight um, so that we here on this YouTube family, this running channel that continues to go crazy like you guys are spreading the word and this channel continues to grow and it's blowing me away and i just hope that some of my insights from all of these injuries can help you uh, moving forward as far as how to avoid them how to fight through them question of the day
do you care to share a list of some of your running injuries if you'd like and I know that's going to be a little time consuming if you have a lot of them, but maybe do bullet points down below. Again, I think we can help each other. Maybe you will read down below. Okay, this person has had a uh, runner's knee four times and like what's going on? How did they get over it? Maybe they can help you or maybe somebody has a hip issue and they, they you know, and you can you can lean into their wisdom as to how they got over their hip, it, hip issue. So that's the first option. The second option is or are you noticing any patterns in your injuries? So obviously I am with the PF and the stress fractures and uh, yeah, yeah, man. So I love you guys. Again, second video publishing today, the London Marathon uh, Elite Results. It's gonna be exciting. We're going, uh, we're going live here in like six hours. It's gonna be so fun. Uh, we'll see, well, when you watch, when you're watching this, it already happened, but. And that's it, all right, see beauty. Work hard and love each other. Keep fighting. See you tomorrow. We got this. We got this. Mm.